So let's get through all this information here. Some information there about debugging symbols. And straight away we go to enter the true environment. So there's no mounting of virtual file systems at this moment. Uh, oh, sorry, we've got to be root. Yes, it would have been read. Um, yeah, it's at the top of that page. Um, had I read it all. So let's redo that. And there we are in the true environment now. So I recommend to change ownership of tools. And let's start by creating lots of directories. Changing the modes on a couple. Now we come to mount the proc file system. So normally this is done from outside of the troot, but um, in here, um, in this version it's done within. Yes, we've got this warning here. So there's not enough memory there. We've actually got just no such file or directory. So that's interesting. Uh, and then we mount dev PTS as well. And um, we haven't got that error, so that's okay. Creating some essential sim links. Let's create those. It's fine. Now create the password file and the group file in etc and re-execute the login and we get rid of the I have no name you can see got the user and the path so the first package we go to build is make dev so let's first change the sources and extract uh, I think it's capitals yet uh, AJ. Make dev. XJ. Oh, right, okay, yeah, this one's slightly different. It's um, directly uncompressed, and the output's directly redirected into the script into dev. So if we have a look at... Okay, we haven't got that. Of course, we haven't built it yet within this environment. Uh, look at, we've got more. You can see it's a script that creates the um, device nodes for all the devices in dev. So let's change the ownership on that. Then we move into dev and we execute the script with a couple of options. And you can see there it is making all the uh, devices. So we don't need to run this because we didn't get the error. Um, when we mounted dev fs, uh, there it is there, dev pts. So we can just go back to the sources and carry on with the next package, which is Linux.
Okay, so that's extracted. Let's change into it and start by running make MR proper. Create that header, make some sim links, store some files. Some more header files. Touch another header. And looks like that's it. So next we'll move on to man pages. So there's one command for this just to install it straight away. And that's done. And we move on to GLibC.